I'll tell you about Blake. Blake thinks of me and I as his second family. And Ashley told me all this, so I'm going to tell a few little secrets. Um, Blake is actually one of the great success stories of our chapter. He started literally with nothing, and now he's up to how many trucks? Eight waiting on our ninth. Eight waiting on his ninth truck. Every year, every week, I gotta say, I see him building higher and higher and higher. He uses BNI the right way. He looks to people here, not just for referrals, but for help in making sure his business is growing the right way. He knows marketing, and by the way, he is available to everybody here to help you if you have any problems. He has a, he has a uh, recording studio in his offices. He has made that available to people if you want to do records or anything. He is one of the rocks of key referrals, and I am proud to introduce Blake Fitzpatrick. So I put together a slideshow here. Hopefully everybody can see it. It's just going to be rolling pictures. Um, you'll see my family here. Um, it doesn't really go with exactly what I say and how, how I say it, but take a look at it. Just keep your eyes on it. And you'll see a little bit about us. Uh, but I want to start off because there's a lot of new faces in here since I uh, since uh, the last time I presented. So um, I want to introduce myself again, Blake Fitzpatrick, uh, my family, Ashley, and we have three kids, uh, Amelia, Truce, and Colton. We also have a dog, Killian. Uh, when I'm not at work, I spend all my time with them. They are absolutely my life outside of work. Um, but I want to explain, starting off, of who we are. Uh, I started my company about eight years ago. Uh, I never intended it for it to grow like this. I just wanted to do something for myself. I literally worked for somebody for about 30 days. There's a fun story behind this, but I, I worked for a guy for about 30 days, uh, not even a licensed moving company, just a short truck. He had some pads, not a single roll of tape. And I was just watching the moving industry. I loved it because I was in front of a new customer every single day. And I like to take care of people. That's something that's always been, a, I, it's always been a trait of mine, but I didn't realize it until I really got into the moving industry. Um, but I have an opportunity here to take care of people each and every day as they start a new chapter of their life. Um, but a little bit about us, we started our company, it's been eight years ago. Uh, we currently have eight trucks, 17 employees. Uh, we are waiting on another truck, it'll be here in August. It'll be our second brand new truck, excited about that. Um, but what we've built our company on is taking care of our guys and our customers. Uh, so if you look us up online, you'll see we have nothing but five-star reviews. That's almost impossible, uh, but we've done it uh, year in, year out, and it's still happening. I, like I said, we're uh, doing more and more work, and the reviews are coming back. These guys are putting out 50 hours and still going out there and wowing these customers. It's absolutely amazing. Um, but some of the things that we do for our guys to ensure that the customer is taken care of, um, you'll notice on these pictures here, again, keep your eyes on us here, uh, we do things like I cook breakfast for my guys. I come up with incentives and bonuses for taking care of the customer. Um, if there's anything as far as like positive reviews coming out, I'm going out and slipping the guy's money. Um, you know, again, cooking breakfast for the guys, I'm there for them. Anytime they call and they need something, I go out and help them. Um, and I love to do it. It's it's just as much taking care of the customers, taking care of the guys. Um, I take pride in my company. Uh, it's it's like my child. So you know, as far as my guys being in good spirits, to me that makes me feel great. And that's pretty much what's contributed to the growth of this company. And now it's interesting. So you know, everybody's having a hard time hiring guys. Well, for us, it's 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 a challenge, but it's not that hard because we're known for being one of the best companies to work for. Uh, the words getting out there that we take care of our guys. We pay overtime when moving companies don't have to pay overtime. Uh, we have these bonuses in place. There's all these different things that we do that other moving companies don't do. And the guys are now realizing this across the entire area. And we have people lined up that want to come work for us. But we have, and I will tell you this, we have high standards here. So a lot of people, unfortunately, when you think of your typical move, your typical mover, um, you hear all these horror stories and, and, and it's not, usually pleasant. Well, we try to switch that around. We have high standards for our guys. We want guys that are gonna be comfortable, the, cu the customer's gonna be comfortable with us in their home. And that's a big difference from us to other companies. Uh, my guys have manners, they're respectful, and it's making a huge difference. These customers, I mean, it's like a, every week, I'm like, this is the best move I've ever had. I'm like, I love hearing that. That to me is like watching my kid take his first you know, his first steps or ride his bike. When customers say that stuff to me, I get tingled. I just get a little tingled. I can't do uh, but uh, let me go into the services that we do. So um, we offer packing services, residential, commercial moves. 
packing. So almost every single house is going to have some packing. We do a full pack. We'll go in and pack everything out. That's the day before the move. We'll pack everything, um, you know, your kitchen, your all the linens, everything in the house in four minutes. Um, but most, most often uh, when we're doing a move and they're not having us pack, we're still packing a few items. It's like TVs, lamps, the hard to pack items that they don't know how to pack. Uh, we'll go in there and do that on move day typically. Um, but we always ask these questions to the customer rather than just find out on move day, oh, you needed those items packed. No, we know to look for those items because we know where the pain points are. And customers don't always think about those things. So we help them think about those things. Residential moves, our average move is a 2,000 to 3,000 square foot home. We do move smaller than that, so feel free to refer, out, refer those smaller houses. But we also love to do extremely large moves. This is actually a school move we did. Um, this is some really good slides right here. Um, but as far as uh, the residential moves, we do them of all sizes. We love those big old 1,200 or 12,000 square foot homes on Longboat Key, um, you know, those type of things. We have a cruise that, that can handle those. As far as commercial moves, we do office moves. Uh, that's where we're dealing with cubicles, partitions, all that good stuff. Um, we've also done the school right here. You'll see that we have classrooms set up. We went and did a full pack and unpack of an entire middle and elementary school. That's insane. It was a uh, two week job. Um, but another thing I want to point out is that our office cares. Um, so as I grew this company, one of the challenges I had was finding people that would take the care that I had for the customer and keep that going when I'm not looking. So it's been a challenge again finding these people, but we have. In fact, with the help of Stevie Crumb, we found Laura Barnes, who is our office manager, our general manager at this point now. Um, and she cares about our customers as much as I do. So she's going to listen in and, and help them figure out and find the best solution for whatever problem they have. And that's who we are. So it's not just me that stands up and cares. It's everybody in my office, all the employees on the ground. That's what makes a difference. Um, I wanted everybody to also know that you can refer with confidence. Something that I, I learned early on, obviously realtors are our best referral partners. And I wanted to make sure that when a realtor does start referring to us, that we hold on to them. I mean, it's just simple. However you want to look at it, I want the money to keep coming in. So what I do for realtors um, is I would tag the moves. You know, this was something I would just write it down. So that way when the move came up, I know to put my best guys on it. Well, now I created a system within my CRM that when a, we get a, re a realtor referral, we tag that move and that is, it, it changes the entire move. So if they wanted something like, oh, I want to start at a late time, they'll get that unlike other customers. They're going to get better rates and we make sure that they know that they're getting this treatment because they were referred by the realtor. Because at the end of the day, we want them to go back to that, re that realtor and say, hey, thank you so much for referring them, you know, because it's a whole package deal. We want to make the realtor look good. Well, the same thing goes with B&I. I have a tag for B&I referrals. So when you, tag, when you refer people, that tag goes in there. They're getting my best crew. They're getting all these incentives, and they know it's because you referred them. My goal is to like, go back to you and say, oh, my God, thank you. You guys are amazing. Um, some great referral partners for us, realtors, property managers, if you know anybody like this. That's great. Um, the biggest thing that I take out of, of BNI is um, getting getting our company's name out there. Um, so if you guys ever see our posts on Facebook, I appreciate you sharing them. Um, if you're having conversation with somebody, talk about Sunshine Movers. That's all I can ask. We want our name to flow. The referrals are great, but it's really it's really about getting our name out there, and that's the biggest thing I can ask. And so far, it's been working. I've been at BNI for like three and a half years. And it's just been huge for us. So I definitely appreciate it. And anybody that's considering joining BNI, it, it's a game changer if you treat it right. So I appreciate you guys here. Um, 5.0. Is that all the time I've got? 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Well, Hartwell. You, you, can you can talk 20 seconds, Blake. Yeah, of course I can. Um, <laughs> uh, our website, yeah, question. question. Did you just pull in your water? Oh, we did. Uh, yeah, sorry. I just we won uh, best of the best uh, for we were we were recognized for uh, reputation with the clients, um, our reviews, of course. Um, but the big one, the big takeaway was we were recognized for being an amazing employer, take care of our employees, and that has now traveled, and uh, we got an award for it. So that was very cool. There's actually a video on my personal Facebook and Sunshine Movers. Oh, and if you guys don't like Sunshine Movers on Facebook, go do it now. You'll get all the updates and videos to share, including watching that like. really good video. <laughs> <laughs> Now we've got Tony Fitzgerald coming up next. I'm going to use Blake's tripod. 